another video. In this video, I will read for you, Peppy Parrot Learns to Persist. Easy Reader Moral Stories, Level 3. Published by Wilco, Publishing House, Mumbai, India. Okay, I will read this. Meet you there. Peppy Parrot Learns to Persist. Peppy the pet parrot lived in a big house. He had a green body and a bright red beak. Everyone loved Peppy, but he was very sad because he could not talk. One day he heard Daddy say, Do you think we should take Peppy to the vet? Peppy did not want to visit the vet. Mama said, No, Peppy will talk. He just needs to try harder. He needs to persist. Peppy smiled, which made his beak look bigger and brighter. He decided that he will try harder. He will listen to Daddy and Mommy talk and try to copy them. Little Nina knew that Peppy wanted to talk. She gave him a green pepper. Now try, Peppy, she said. Peppy opened his beak. There was no sound. Don't worry. It's not hard. We will try again later. She said it and left for school. Peppy felt strong and confident. I will not give up, he said to himself. Later that day, little Nina tried to make him talk again. Peppy Parrot heard her voice. He tried to copy her, but again there was no sound. Little Nina fed him an apple, his favorite fruit, and went to bed. Peppy stayed up to look at the moon and stars through the window. Earlier, little Nina had told him, Peppy, I can't do math well, but I am trying. If you try harder, you will also succeed in talking. Peppy Parrot loved little Nina. As he was thinking about her, he was suddenly disturbed by a sound at the door. Someone was trying to enter the house. Peppy saw two hefty men and enter the front door. He had never seen them before. They were strangers. Peppy was scared. He took one deep breath. I have to do something, he thought to himself. But what? Peppy was in deep thought as the strangers went from room to room. They filled big bags with goodies from the house. They picked up a radio and the phone. Suddenly, one thief picked up a doll. Look, this doll is nice, he said to his friend. Peppy flew into a rage. Why, that is little Nina's favorite doll. He shook furiously in his cage. Suddenly, he felt something rise in his mouth. He opened his mouth and out came a voice. Honey, are you coming to the living room? Peppy had spoken like little Nina's father. He had often practiced the different voices of the family members in his mind. He had found his voice and had a clever plan up to his feathered wings. There are awake, said the robbers to each other, and stopped dead in their tracks. Next, Peppy spoke in the voice of little Nina's mother. I am quite sleepy. Why don't you watch television for some time? The robbers were stumped. They were standing right in front of the television. 
They quickly walked out of the room and ran towards the gate. Peppy wanted to have some more fun, so he called, I think I will invite Joe, the policeman, to come and watch the match. Hearing the word police, the robbers took to their heels and ran. Peppy even made the sound of a police siren. They left the bag behind and the doll was thrown back on the sofa. Peppy was thrilled and could not wait for the morning. He sang nursery rhymes all night. The next morning when the family awoke, Peppy screamed and shrieked and told them all that had happened in the night. Little Nina hugged and kissed him with Peppy singing a happy little tune. Vocabulary. Vet, an animal doctor. Persist. To keep trying. Disturbed. Interrupted. Hefty. Large and heavy. Rage. Uncontrollable anger. Strangers. People not known to us. Tracks. Footprints. Stumped. Shocked. Siren. A loud sound of certain emergency vehicles. Moral. Try and try again till you succeed. Oh. Okay, I didn't see it there. Sorry, that annoys you. Okay, thanks for reading with me, guys. Bye.